Hey guys, today's video is a hot or not on the TYR Ultralight Snorkel. I'm going to be comparing this to my absolute favorite, which is the Speedo Bullet Head. And since, of course, that is my favorite, it has to, you know, be up to the standards of that one because I love that one. And I do have a review on that snorkel so you guys can see why I like it so much. This snorkel is a little bit different because it does have the valve at the bottom, but it sticks out really far compared to where the mouthpiece is. The Finnis snorkel and the Michael Phelps snorkels that both have a valve at the bottom don't have the, like where it sticks out super far. So I was really excited to see, you know, why it had that and why it made that a little bit different. And so when I got in the pool and tried it, I found out that when you blow the water out the top, any extra that it has will actually collect in the little compartment down here. That way when you're breathing for the rest of the length, you won't be, um, you know, breathing in extra water, which I thought was really useful. But with my Speedo snorkel, I'll show you guys, this doesn't have a valve at all at the bottom, and yet I can get all of the water out with no extra at all. So I was kind of hoping that this one would be a lot like that, since it is sort of the same style, but it wasn't, and there definitely was extra water when I blew it out, but again, it wasn't that much of an issue because there was that little extra compartment. It's kind of like a little water collection chamber. The mouthpiece is actually really, really small. I had my dad try out this snorkel too, and he was like, oh, I can't even get my teeth around it. The little silicone pieces that your teeth go around, it's actually pretty thin in the area in between right there, so your teeth actually don't fit in that area. The whole time I was swimming it, my teeth would kind of go over the top of this little plastic piece, like back and forth, and it was kind of annoying. I could never get my mouth to fully fit onto the mouthpiece. Whereas the Speedo one, and actually the Michael Phelps and Finnis Snorkel, they all have really good sized mouthpieces for me, so this one was a little bit awkward. The headpiece just didn't work for me. It was really uncomfortable because it doesn't have any kind of foam here at the top that won't dig into your forehead when you're wearing it for long amounts of time. In my swim group, we do a lot of long distance freestyle, and I like to wear my snorkel for it, and so it'll start to dig into my forehead, especially if there isn't any kind of padding. The Speedo one has this awesome foam padding on the headpiece that I really, really love. You can actually stick your whole finger in it. The foam is really comfortable, so I really like this one for that because I can wear it for really long distances and it doesn't hurt at all. I thought maybe there was something wrong with my head, maybe this was hitting the edge of my cap or something and it was pushing it in. So I also had my dad try it who was not wearing a swim cap and it dug into his forehead as well. A cool thing about this snorkel though is it comes with two attachment pieces that will make it harder to breathe. It comes with one that's a little bit smaller and then one that's really small. Now this is a performance snorkel just like the Speedo one, so it is a little bit different than like the Finnis and Michael Phelps ones which don't have have any attachments on them they're just meant for swimming whereas these two make it a little bit harder to breathe so they're meant to make your workout a little bit harder and give you good lung training so this is a training aid snorkel typically when packaging says performance it means a training aid so the way you attach these is really easy you just kind of plop it on the top and then it gives you a smaller hole to breathe out of or you can use the other one, which is the orange one, which is really, really small, and you just slide that on the top, and then you get a very, very tiny hole to breathe out of. So I found that the yellow one made no difference at all in my breathing. It didn't feel any different for some reason. I don't know why, because it is definitely a smaller hole than this, but it really didn't feel any different. This one did make it harder to breathe, but since it's such a small hole, when you blew the water out after a flip turn, part of the water would come out the bottom because not all of it would go out the top. Let me explain that a little bit better. So snorkels that have a valve at the bottom, that's what the valve looks like. When you cover the top of the snorkel and block any airflow and you blow, the valve at the bottom will open up and the extra water will go out the bottom. So if you're in the middle of swimming a length and you didn't get all the water out after a flip turn and there's a lot in there and you can barely breathe, you can reach your hand up there while you're swimming, block it and blow, and all the extra water will go out the bottom, which is really convenient. So what I found is when you put the small orange attachment on the top of it and you blow out the water, Half of the water will go out the bottom because it's almost like you're covering the top because not everything can come out. So it is small enough to make your breathing harder, but it's too small that not all the water can come out so then it goes out the bottom. And also the same thing happens while I was swimming, I would be breathing hard and not all of my air would come out the top and so half of the air would go out the bottom. It wasn't that it affected my swimming, it was just a little bit annoying to constantly have the bubbles coming out the bottom. And then I felt like I didn't get the full training aid experience that this was supposed to give me because I was blowing out and half of my air was just going out the bottom. 
you know? It was just a little bit strange. Whereas the Speedo Snorkel is great, it doesn't come with any attachments, but the tube is so small that it does restrict your breathing, but it doesn't have an extra attachment that you can put on the top to, you know, have issues with it. But I think this snorkel would work great with an attachment like that, since it doesn't have a valve at the bottom. So you'd be able to blow out the water and have to try really hard to get everything out of the top only. It wouldn't have an, a second escape route <laughs> for the water to go out of. But I did try putting these attachments on here, and it didn't work. The other snorkel is just a little bit bigger, so it's, you know they would end up falling off. Another difference that I found between this and the Speedo Snorkel is the head adjustment. This one just sort of slides up like that, so it can move around while you're swimming. But the Speedo one has these really cool notches on them that I did mention in my review, so this can pop to each adjustment really tightly so it won't move anywhere. So I did like the head adjustment of the Speedo one better than this one. But even the Michael Phelps snorkel and the Finnis snorkel, none of them have the clicking increments for the headpiece to go on. So I think the Speedo one is just really unique in that aspect. I know this isn't as positive as a review as I would like it to be because I really do like TYR. I tried out a pair of their goggles that you guys can go watch and I really do like those. So I really wanted to like this snorkel but it just didn't work for me. This snorkel would actually be really great for like 9 to 10 year olds if you don't use the attachments and you don't want the training aid aspect of this. The mouthpiece would probably fit younger kids that want to start using a snorkel. Even though this is not advertised as a beginner snorkel, if you don't use the attachments, it definitely can be, especially for younger kids. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Hi! Hi! Hi, sweetie. I know, Bodie's behind me. She's like, oh, hi, there he is. I really wanted to like this snorkel. <laughs> Stop! TYR I know the name of it. I'm literally blanked the minute I was about to say it. TYR Ultra Light Snorkel. It's a tongue twister. TYR Ultra Light. So we're just gonna kind of wait. We're just gonna kind of wait. <laughs>